Hi there, welcome back to Leisure Spa's Chemical Instructions. We're doing currently step three of three, and um, we did the first step of calcium. We raised the calcium le level to look after the plastic. Step two was raising the amount of minerals or carbonates in the water, which is important because it helps stabilize the water better. And we've got that correct. And now we're up to step three. So we've waited 20 minutes after the uh, the alkalinity was done and it tested fine. So now we're going to make sure our pH level is correct, right? So it's really important that the pH is correct. So if we leave pH low on the chart, see it's more of an orangey, lighter color, that's acidic water. Now acidic water is, is going to etch away at the metals and plastics within the pool. Um, it'll give you a feeling of a tingling feeling on your skin like you think it's the chlorine doing it but it's actually the pH being very low. Um, it literally is not good for your pool to be low acid, low in pH. Now people will think as long as my water is clear that's a good thing. Um, clear water is also an indication sometimes that your pH is very low. So if you've got clear water, make sure you double check your pH to make sure it's correct, otherwise it will not be great. The other way of doing it is if pH is very high. You can see it's more of a ready color on the chart here. If high pH is more alkaline and high alkaline pH water can cause the water to make the calcium solidify onto the sides of the spa and that's called scale and it can form like a grittiness on the side of the pool if you left the water very high in, on in the pH level. So the ultimate is actually on the test strips up the top here it's got OK and we wanted about 7.6 on the chart and it really makes the pool work perfectly, perfectly fine within that zone and it makes the chlorine work well high or low pH can actually burn chlorine off rapidly so we want it at 7.6. Now to, obviously I'm going to show you we're going to test the water so again we use these test strips and again remember you do not dunk and swirl you do not shake the test strip you just dunk it in raise it out and hold it for 10 seconds horizontal and then we can compare against the chart so what we're going to do is now we're going to have a look now we can see it's no longer acidic water because remember we raised the alkaline T, it will naturally push your pH scale higher. And that's why step three is to bring the pH down. So it's sitting, what do you reckon, about 8.2 to 8.4 on the chart, whereas it needs to be down near about 7.6. So we're going to add pH decrease. So I'd say that that level's about 8.2. I'm going to have every point one of a drop on this down from 8.2 to 7.6 is 0.6 of a drop. Every 0.1 of a drop is a teaspoon of the pH decrease. So on this one, I'm going to add six teaspoons of pH decrease to the actual spa water. Now, obviously, again, we get the jets running to do so, but six teaspoons straight into the pool. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Once you've added the six teaspoons, obviously leave the jets going for 20 minutes just to mix that chemical into the water. And we're going to come back in 20 minutes time and we're going to test to make sure the level of pH has been brought down into the creek zone. Uh, welcome back to Leisure Spas. Uh, we're now doing the chemical instructions step three of three. We've just waited 20 minutes after adding the pH. And we're now going to do the final test to make sure that the pH level has been brought down. It was sitting up near about 8.2. We want it in that OK zone, just about in here. So we're going to do that. So we dip it in. Don't swirl it. Just lift it out. Don't shake it. Wait for 10 seconds. And then we'll compare the actual result. Now, once we've done all these chemicals, and if everything is fine, you're then ready to start using the spa. It's quite exciting for you. So what we're checking now is it's not low pH. See, it's more of an orange color down the bottom. It's not a high ready pink like it was. It is now sitting probably realistically about 7.4 to 7.6, which we're very happy about. So we're quite happy with that result. 
going forward now, if you've just filled your spa from a, a brand new water and you're doing this whole process, we want to add two teaspoons of spa chlorine at this point to the water to uh, make sure any bacteria that has been growing in the test water of the plumbing uh, to be killed. So we just add two teaspoons of spa chlor to the water at this stage. And then you're good to go to use straight away. Well done.